uh, of January okay. 1952. Right. Okay. And Korea was hot in the summer mm -hmm. and cold in the winter, especially okay. in the mountains. We were down near the coast, mm -hmm. but it was cold. And uh, when we had when we had to pull guard duty mm -hmm. on the flight line, we were an issue parkas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fur-lined parkas. You needed them too, right? You did, yes. You did need them, right. yes. Mm -hmm. We were, uh, if we wanted to, we could go to Seoul, mm -hmm. maybe on a, a day off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it was, there were no paid drones in Seoul at that time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was an hour trip okay. in the back of a truck. Wow. And if that road was like, uh, was what they would call a washboard road, mm -hmm. it was like you were bumping and shaking all the way. Mm -hmm. And there wasn't much to see in Seoul. Mm -hmm. right. Seoul had changed hands, I believe, four times. Wow. And there wasn't too much left of it. It was in ruins. Wow. 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 So that, that was your recreation theory. Well, right? yeah, I guess there was sort of change of, change of scenery, but... Because of the length of the trip going there, and mm -hmm. wasn't too much there. Right. Uh, I think I only went there a couple of times. Okay. But being in the air wing, mm -hmm. another uh, another benefit mm -hmm. was that uh, well, everyone in Korea got R and R, rest and relaxation. Mm -hmm. It was a five-day mm -hmm. trip to Japan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I guess they had the logistics or the, they had the planes. Mm -hmm. Well, they, everyone was flown to Japan mm -hmm. one or another. Right. But since we had our own planes, mm -hmm. I think we got four during our tour of duty. We got four in ours. Mm -hmm. The poor guys in the infantry, I think they only got one during their year's tour. Wow. I guess there were some benefits of being there. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so uh, you yeah, basically doing your regular duties, and then you have to do like some guard duty every once in a while. Once in a while, mm -hmm. best duty at the mess hall. Yes. So just a normal routine. Yes. Things, right? Okay. Yes. Right. Um, and speaking and also yeah. in regards to the planes, mm -hmm. <coughs> now we also have movies there, believe it or not. We have movies almost every okay. night. Okay. Sometimes we have to suffer through the same movie uh, maybe a couple of nights in a row. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, our planes had cameras in them, some of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when we go to the movies, they would say, well, here's, here's what, here's uh, <coughs> during your duties and your work, mm -hmm. here's what you're contributing to. They showed movies of the planes bombing and oh. strafing oh, okay. mm -hmm. the operations. Okay. Now, by 1953, mm -hmm. Let's see, got there in 53, January yeah. 53. Mm -hmm. By 53, it was a stalemate oh, okay. Okay. along the 38th parallel. Wow. Wow. And it was just, it was almost like trench warfare. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they would take a hill or two, and then uh, uh, the North Koreans would take it back. And that was about what it amounted to. Mm -hmm. But they would show us mm -hmm. what our planes were doing there, right. they would show them movies, you know, yeah. sort of like a newsreel. Wow. Now, the Air Force, mm -hmm. <coughs> the Air Force had most of the glory mm -hmm. because they had the F-86 Saber jet, mm -hmm. and they took on the MiGs. Oh, okay. And some of those MiGs, MiG pilots, mm -hmm. were Russian pilots mm -hmm. from Russia. Mm -hmm. And uh, they they had the numbers in that. <clears throat> but we had one small uh, old experience. Mm -hmm. The North Koreans had these small two wing biplanes. Mm -hmm. And they were able to evade, they would come out at night. Mm -hmm. And they would fly down the valleys mm -hmm. in Korea, most of Korea is very mountainous, right. evading radar. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I guess they couldn't carry many bombs. They were more of a nuisance mm -hmm. than anything else. Mm -hmm. And since they came out at night, mm -hmm. they were they were called Red Check Charlie. Now, if and when the air raid sounded, mm -hmm. you're supposed to get out of 
out of the earth, caught, mm -hmm. and go out and get in a slit trench. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> they were more of a nuisance than anything. Mm -hmm. So after a while, no one paid any attention to it. Mm -hmm. But they did get lucky. They got lucky one time. Oh. They bombed a fuel dump, one of the main fuel dumps mm -hmm. in China. Mm -hmm. And we were about 30 miles away mm -hmm. and could see the flames of it. Wow. wow. The Air Force, with their jets, mm -hmm. weren't able to really counter them because the Air Force would make, make a, when they finally would find out where they were, mm -hmm. they would make a pass at them. Mm -hmm. And just before the jet got to them, mm -hmm. you know, a little prop, slow biplane, mm -hmm. they would make a sharp turn. They could turn on a dime. Wow. Wow. And the Air Force jet would fly by them. And by the time they would come around, I don't know how many miles it would take them mm -hmm. to make a U-turn. Mm -hmm. They were gone. Right. Yeah. So then what they did, mm -hmm. they called in. The uh, Navy had carriers off the coast of mm -hmm. Korea. And they also had planes, mm -hmm. combat planes. Mm -hmm. They had an F-4U, mm -hmm. Corsair, mm -hmm. uh, Lake model, mm -hmm. and it had the earliest radar wow. on the plane. Mm -hmm. It was called an all-weather plane. Mm -hmm. And it could fly, fly at night. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> bad weather or anything. Mm -hmm. A Navy pilot <clears throat> shot down five of those bike planes, and that very well took care of them. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And that was their their time of glory, the Navy. Mm -hmm. And they had a big ceremony at our base. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, they awarded the pilot. Mm -hmm. uh, Admiral Water came out and awarded the pilot a medal. Mm -hmm. And even the uh, Look, magazine photographers were there, mm -hmm. and they got their 50 minutes or whatever mm -hmm. day there mm -hmm. of glory. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. happened there too. Mm -hmm. uh, on one of my, on one of our R&Rs, our, our we flew into uh, mm -hmm. Italy, mm -hmm. and which was close to Osaka. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but the Japanese had excellent trains, mm -hmm. and they had those trains up and running by then. Mm -hmm. Well, there was a lot of damage. Right. And it was pretty close to Osaka, which was a big city, mm -hmm. uh, and also Kyoto, uh -huh. which was about an hour away. Mm -hmm. right. Right. Kyoto was never bombed. Okay. Uh, they decided to spare it. Mm -hmm. uh, I forget what general, mm -hmm. Air Force general maybe, mm -hmm. decided mm -hmm. to spare uh, Kyoto. Kyoto was mm -hmm. the uh, mm -hmm. original capital of Japan okay. mm -hmm. before Tokyo. Mm -hmm. And it had buildings there mm -hmm. that were a thousand years old. Wow. So wow. they did spare Kyoto. And it really was some interesting sightseeing. Wow. Amazing. Something I would have never right. been able to see or experience. Right. 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 And then we just, and then uh, on one of our other r and uh -huh. and it turned out my buddy from uh, <coughs> L.A., mm -hmm. or from El Toronto sure. and L.A., mm -hmm. LA mm -hmm. he ended up at K-62, right. and it was about a month or two later, mm -hmm. and I'm on the chow line mm -hmm. in the mess hall, you know, mm -hmm. dishing out, right. and right. here he comes down the line with his tray. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, you got lucky. You got another free cruise, too. <laughs> so we decided we're going to go to uh, mm -hmm. Tokyo. Okay. Now, the Air Force had a, what they called a courier plane. Mm -hmm. Air Force, of course, the Army had bases, Air Force, mm -hmm. Navy, and then there was a courier plane mm -hmm. that was that would basically mm -hmm. deliver mail. Mm -hmm. And as long as you were in uniform, mm -hmm. and as long as there was space on the plane, but you had a right to get on that plane. Wow. We got on the courier plane, mm -hmm. flew to uh, Tokyo, uh -huh. and we got off the plane, mm -hmm. and I'm looking at a plane over there, mm -hmm. and I says, oh my gosh, right. it was a de Havilland Comet jet. Okay. That was the first mm -hmm. commercial passenger jet, wow. okay. which was a uh, that was built by the British. Uh -huh.